Italian AI-powered language platform Translated has coordinated a major European research initiative with $33 million in funding from the European Commission. IR CEO Marco Trombetti, if the deal puts Europe on the AI map. Good start. And yes, Dupes uh, is the, this uh, new project that Translated is leading, but it's made of an incredible large number of researchers in, in Europe. And many in the UK and across also the rest of Europe. So um, uh, it's uh, 30 million, 29 million to be precise of investment just to seed the research of this project where we aim to create the next generation of artificial intelligence. You know, attacking some of the problem of the limitations of the current uh, AI. I mean, who would you say ha has supremacy uh, in, in the, uh, the tech world? And is there room for entrance uh, of all shapes, um, of all sizes? Or do you think it's going to be survival of the fittest only? So, you know, 10 years ago, uh, the large majority of the scientific research in AI was made in Europe. And Europe was the leader in that. Um, a, Recently, uh, the United States, as once the, 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 com the competition became a brute force competition, not through algorithm, but more about computing power, they invested more than anyone else and they, they got some supremacy. And now also you see China, where 50% of all the AI researchers in the world are in China, plus, you know, they're inventing things so that they win over brute force. And deep seek to me, was an important moment, you know. Through ingenuity, the people have created something that perform at 99% what you do with 10 times more resources. And that is, was an inspiration. You say we need investment, you say you need resources, but do we really need billions to, to, to get ahead in this AI race? You mentioned DeepSeek earlier. They took the, the sector and, and the markets um, by storm and a little bit by its surprise. Well, I tell you one thing. So when I started, uh, no, even just 10 years ago, to train our translation models, uh, the cost was about 500 euro per language. That was the computational cost for training in AI. So you want to do 10 different languages, that's 5,000 euro of training cost. And, uh, you know, then the battle became a billion dollar battle. So we're getting to the point where even the biggest company in the world are running out of money for this. And so this is the turning point where ingenuity becomes an asset again. And I think the deep seek really proved it. You're very positive, you're very upbeat about the future of um, AI in Europe, but I wonder you know, what, what keeps you up at night? What worries do you have uh, about AI in Europe? Do, do innovators feel, feel as welcome um, in Europe as they do in Silicon Valley, in Shenzhen? Well, I think if, if I think about Europe, what keeps me at night, you know, is, is the most important thing that I, that I fear that we're not sending the right messages to the young generations. You know, I think sometimes, especially with the regulation and the activity that we do, sometimes we're saying to our young researchers that Europe is not the place to invent the next big thing. It's not the place where you can do the next Airbnb, where you can do the next Uber. We want to create the opportunity for the best researchers in Europe to team up together and create something extraordinary.